So I thought it was time for an update on my Lyme disease problem and I've gotten better over the course of time. I'm still taking the tinctures from the Buner protocols. Um, since I originally got sick and I got over the fever, I noticed that I started having certain other symptoms like I have uh, trouble catching my breath and feels like I'm getting heart palpitations there's a few other things but just fatigue but, but not like it was originally so looking through all the co-infections that come along with Lyme disease I've come to the conclusion that I've probably got Babesia. Babesia is not a bacteria, it's a protozoa. It's kind of like the same thing that malaria is. One of the ways that they treat it is with malaria drugs. Babesia is really big in the animal world. It's really bad in cattle. And they make a Babesia product for animals and it's pretty typical for people to inoculate cattle and other livestock with that. The thinking is that these protozoa have started to develop a, a tolerance to these drugs because they're used so much in the um, food industry for cattle. But if you, if you talk to a vet, they know exactly what Babesia is. If you talk to a doctor, they're just kind of scratching their heads. They don't, they don't really know about it. They haven't heard too much about it. When we were out there working that day, I was really sick. I accidentally cut my finger. I have a glucose meter here that I use, or I've been trying to use. Actually, it doesn't work because I can't get any blood because the... Uh, the thing that's supposed to poke you doesn't work. Maybe it's just crappy, I don't know, but I've tried doing that. It doesn't draw any blood on my hands. So anyway, the day that I got really bad, I was out there. I cut myself on the hand. When I came inside, I uh, went ahead and did my blood. My hemoglobin was like... 5.6 so my wife told me if I was at the hospital they would give me a transfusion so I knew that I was anemic. Babesia is something that attacks your red blood cells once I found it I had all those symptoms they say air hunger with shortness of breath I don't know why they call it air hunger but weird heart irregularities um, Night sweats, uh, deja vu, weirdly enough. Um, anyway, for all the boxes that you could tick for Babesia, I ticked every single one of them. And actually, I'm going to see a cardiologist in two days. I did go down to the hospital and get a CT scan on my heart, which I'm supposed to get a. a coronary calcium score and I just called them the guy's supposed to read it uh, they're supposed to call me back they don't know anything they never do Big bees it gives you a lot of anxiety too that's another one of the things and when you get like uh, where you can't get in the air and you feel like your heart's out of rhythm you get real freaked out about it and I'm feeling better than I was. I, uh, this past, a week ago, I, um, I got fever again, and I had to basically stay on the sofa for two days. I think that was my fault. 
and I'm sort of learning what I should be doing and mainly drinking any at all and overexerting myself with two biggies. Um, but nobody says you can get well from this and really some people say, I've heard everything from six months to two years, you know, if you're doing all this, if you're being treated, but it's coming right up on two months for me, so maybe, maybe I'm doing as bad as good as I could expect to be doing, and if I would quit fooling around and rest more, I would probably get even better but I have so many things I want to do and have to do that you know it's tough it's hard I've learned so much about this ailment since we started going through this and over and over and over and over again you know it's like I went to I went to Two dozen doctors, nobody could diagnose me. I was sick for 50 years and nobody could diagnose me. Yeah, I went to a doctor, I told them what happened. They don't believe me, they won't give me the test. You know, over and over and over again, it's, it's the doctors won't do this, the doctors won't do that, the doctors won't do this, the doctors won't do that. Screw the doctors, I don't care about the doctors. You know, if, if you're sick, just do it on your own. I mean, what a doctor knows about anything is suspect in the first place. So, I didn't wait. I mean, there's you can watch videos all day long for three weeks and never get up from the computer of people documenting their uh, issues with Lyme disease. And 999 out of 1,000 will say, yeah, I didn't get diagnosed by a doctor, my friend had it, or someone said you might have this because his girlfriend had it. You know, it's always word of mouth and it's always people, it's like a grassroots thing and that's why I've got this shirt on because according to the CDC, you know, the people who, who have Lyme disease, which they say is in our heads, are loonies. We're lunatics. We're lunatics because we're sick. Can you imagine if you had to go find a, a, a cold literate doctor, a pneumonia literate doctor, a ringworm literate doctor? You know, I've got to find somebody who's literate in, in a disease that's like an epidemic. A lot of people are complaining about not getting enough antibiotics or insurance won't pay for antibiotics after 30 days. Well, if you're, if you're over you know, 30 days and three years on antibiotics, then I don't think it's working. If you're on antibiotics for an extended period of time, it's just going to wreck your gut biota in the first place and then you're going in reverse because that's the majority of your immune system maybe not the majority but I think it is anyway I don't want to be on antibiotics because I think they're just in the case of but it's stated in multiple places that you can read that if you treat Babesia with antibiotics, which they aren't bacteria in the first place, they're protozoa, so it doesn't really kill them, so they go hide, and when they come back, they'll come back even stronger, and then there's a lot of cases where they've treated people with antibiotics, and then when they came back, they died, and I just don't I'm feeling good enough that I think what I'm using is working and I don't want to tempt fate by taking antibiotics 
Now, I think when I had the uh, Borrelia originally, I, uh, and I, I did take antibiotics when I first came down sick. Hello, Celeste. According to that lady on the phone, the nurse, she told me that my score was zero. I didn't know you could get a zero. Anyway, the high score is 400, and she says I have zero calcium in my heart. So, I don't know, I just hope they read it right, because zero seems too good to be true. So anyway, that's my uh, update for August the 27th, 2019. So I hope this video does somebody some good out there, and I appreciate you guys bearing with me for my long-windedness. And thanks for all the subs, and thanks for watching.